Smart um, <coughs> VMware VirtualBox and QEMU doing uh, multi-core um, for my flight simulator. So um, VMware is the best. Um, it only does 16 uh, cores. I have 1224. So first we're going to try with 12. VMware has a bug doing full screen. Um, to get full, okay, first of all, okay, you do control alt return, and then every time you change to full screen, you have to do auto and then stretch, and that gets you to full screen. So we're going to go to the uh, in the multi core directory. I made a benchmark. This is a uh, um, context save con task save restores. So this is uh, saving the task and then loading a new task. Saving the registers and then loading new registers. So um, it looks like it's um, gigahertz, but that's not what it is. Um, this is a, um, a 3.5 gigahertz. Anyway, um, so um, we have uh, um, now uh, when it heats up, it's going to get a little bit slower but anyway so now we're going to look at the flight simulator with uh, 12 cores it's beautiful it it um, it does the full map the sound is uh, garbled um, that's because it's VMware they put distortion on it um, so this is VMware with 12 with I, I have remember I have 1224 um, with hyper threading so this is uh, I assume this is uh, now core zero has uh, a little bit reduced part of that is because of uh, <coughs> is because of Linux in the back I'm, I'm a guest on Linux so part of that is Linux um, so uh, anyway uh, now we're gonna um, we're gonna it was uh, it's about 4.1 4, um, 4, 4 now we're going to change it up to uh, 16 now um, what I assumed uh, there's I have 1224 so in order to get 16 um, we had to double up four. Um, so I, I had, uh, so now um, four of them have been doubled up on, on the cores. Um, <clears throat> so what do you think it's gonna look like? Do you think it's gonna be, uh, if, if uh, eight of them are not doubled up and then four plus four, four of them with doubled up cores is another that's another eight so you would think there's going to be eight really high really fast ones and then eight really slow ones because it, they they are running double loads that's what i expected but i was surprised that they're even now it could be that um vmware uh gives me um double cores um and we only have uh, eight cores instead of twelve. Anyway, so these are pretty even. There's there's a little bit of a difference. Anyway, and the flight simulator works perfectly. The the sound the song plays correctly, and um, it the controls work. And uh, anyway, um, the song is uh, garbled. That's because VMware puts too much distortion. I don't know why they did that. Anyway, so uh, so that's VMware. VMware costs two hundred and fifty bucks, and it's the most professional. But they're they're assholes. They they it would be really easy for them to change it from sixteen to twenty four. Um, they there's a limit of uh, of uh, sixteen cores. That's just silly. Anyway, um, I have a Xeon 1224. So um, now we're going to look at VirtualBox. Um, 
I didn't buy this. This is just the free version. Um, so uh, it does do 24. VMware did not do 24. Um, so um, if you're interested in uh, if you're interested, oh, we got some kind of error. Let's. I I, don't, I think it goes away. I don't. Okay, ignore. Anyway, um, so uh, let's go to the uh, the benchmark. So this is uh, remember this is context swaps um, per per second basically. So we're doing um, so even though this, this is a little bit slower, if you were doing a workload, this would this would be um, that that uh, <clears throat> the extra cores are helpful, even though they uh, they slow it down, because the work you get is uh, more than than what it slows down. Um, if you I should print the total, shouldn't I? Anyway, um, this is context swaps per second per core. Um, so again, notice core zero has to support Linux in the background, but um, there's something wrong with uh, with uh, um, the the graphics on uh, if we could see the CPU load um, when it has changing graphics um, uh, it it it's it's too slow it's like it's uh, it's it only does static graphics if you do dynamic graphics something's terribly messed up anyway so and it doesn't have sound VirtualBox doesn't have sound. But it does have 24 cores. Hey, wait, wait a minute. Why do I only have 21? Um, that's kind of weird. Maybe a couple cores got lost. It gave an error. It will do um, 24. I've never seen that before. Anyway, um, I don't use this because it doesn't have sound and because it doesn't handle changing graphics. Um, let's go see if um, the course came back. Weird. Okay, I don't know. But uh, it, it will do it. I don't know why we're getting um, a problem. Anyway, um, it's, it's, I can't use it. It's, um, I'm not interested. Anyway, um, and then QEMU is uh, is the most amateur, but they have uh, they support 24 cores, and the graphics uh, almost work, but the timing um, something goes ter horribly wrong with the uh, um, oh, let's first let's look at the. Uh, So this is 24 cores. 20, yeah, see, there's 24. I don't know why the virtual box had a glitch. Anyway, core zero is starting to really show some. It's pretty low. Um, that I don't balance my loads, and so. Uh, um, <laughs> Okay, so um, uh, it it lags. It's kind of it lags. This the timing's a little bit off, but the graphics are. It, it's not playable. Basically, VMware is the best, and I paid 250 bucks for it, but they they won't support 24, and they have that glitch trying to stretch the screen. Um, anyway, so. Uh, um, this has sound. This has the best or the. This has the best sound. Actually, I wish it had just a slight bit of distortion. When you play a uh, a uh, the problem with it's so harmonic that uh, the explosions sound bad. 
Um, it's so harmonic, there's no, there's no distortion. Uh, an actual PC speaker is uh, just right. If, if they would just route it to the actual PC speaker with a, uh, all of these, all they have to do is uh, route the port. And um, it's, it's ridiculously easy to let it control the speaker, but they don't want to do that. They're, they want control. They, they, they don't want it out of the PC speaker. They want it out of the, uh, the main process. So uh, VirtualBox doesn't have sound. QEMU is really harmonic. It's good for songs, but it's kind of bad for uh, sound effects. And then VMware is crazy distorted. I don't know what they're thinking. Anyway, um, it's no good for hems, but it's it's okay for sound effects. It's better than nothing. That I think it's the CIA being assholes. They ruined my hems. That's like the most important thing. Anyway, so uh, and then uh, um, VMware is the best for uh, all around performance. It works. It's the most professional. It costs two hundred and fifty bucks. Um, and VirtualBox, something's wrong with the graphics. They, uh, it's just it, if the, if the screen changes, that's my best bet. Uh, that's my best understanding. And then QEMU is QEMU is just kind of amateur timing and stuff. You just get kind of it, it gives you kind of a anyway. But it does do 24. I, it's that's not the reason that that's no excuse for the the problems. Um, although the Core Zero um, is, I don't have load balancing, so so that there's a there's a chance that's part of the reason. Anyway, um, so.